Hour Pacific Standard Time here in the West Coast of North America. I'm Brian Hewitt, and on behalf of MC Ministries Babo OLA and Anita Hewitt, we welcome you to our broadcast, to our worldwide broadcast, expressing the love of the Lord on this fine Friday morning here in Los Angeles, California. And once again, I'm Brian Hewitt. We're going to, going to be diving into Proverbs 21, 1 through 10 uh, this morning, and and good afternoon, wherever you are, please lift up your prayers and repentance. And as the new, dear Lord, the loving Lord pours his new mercy upon you every day. And let's just really focus on our reality of our redemption with God upon this fine, fine day. As, as good Lord has great intentions to ch turn us and change us and, and have us go about the world churning us and by bringing in peace, changing us and churning us into bringing love throughout the world. So... Without further ado, brothers and sisters, let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your time, the endless rhyme of your love that brings us to your road of grace, that brings us to your straight and narrow, where many are called if you are chosen. We thank you for your time, the endless rhyme of your love that brings us to this timepiece of the now, the faith. Teach us what that is, Lord. Teach us how to back that up with our works. Hope, faith, and love gives us that, that embrace of that, that beautiful woman called wisdom. For in Jesus' name, we love thee. Brothers and sisters, this is the day, your day, right here, to come into your time frame with the Lord, to express this hope, is beautiful truth and love to you, to be that change maker that you have always wanted to be, to be, to be that leader that you have always wanted to express upon. And God's loving you and bringing that change to your to your life as we are speaking. And with this bro time, brothers and sisters, it's, it's all about the change. It's how, it's how God brings us <clears throat> to that reality, how God brings us to that mountaintop right now. God, take us, love us, we're yours. We, we go into the all in all of you. We go into that time frame right now for you. We go into the, ex the, the extremes of moving. No longer want to be the, part of the extremes of the ways, man, but to be a part of you, O oh God. To be a part of your life, your love, your liberty. You have set us all free. You have set us all into the guidance of where you have us right now, Lord. Proverbs 21. 1 through 10, brothers and sisters. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it with, whithersoever he will. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the hearts. To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. A high look and a proud heart and the plowing of the wicked is sin. Again, we're in chapter 21 of Proverbs. Moving through into uh, verse 5, the thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteous, but everyone that is hastily only to want. The getting of treasure by a lying tongue is its vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. The robbery of the wicked shall destroy them because they refuse to do judgment. The way of the man is forward and strange, but as for the pure, his work is right. It is better to dwell in the corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in, in a wide house. The soul of the wicked desireth evil, his neighbor findeth no favor in his eyes. So today, there's 31 verses, 30 verses, 31 verses in chapter 21. Let's break this down just by doing the verses 1 through 10 today. And we go through this time, brothers and sisters, that the believer must understand God has intentions of having you as a habitation of his, of his glory, having you raise the praise every day, having you win souls for the kingdom of heaven. He created you. He loves you. He wants all of your divine attention up to him. He does not want you to, to destroy your life in the ways of sin. So, breaking down verse 1. The king's heart is in the land of the Lord, and the rivers of water he turneth it whithersoever he will. The believer perceiving the Lord 
rules every heart, which God does, as he sees fit, like the husbandman who turns the water to the grounds as he pleases, seeks to have his own heart and the heart of others directed in his faith, fear, and love. So we must direct everything what God wants. The kings, he names kings not to exclude other men, but because they are more arbitrary and uncontrollable than others, as rivers which husband men draw by the, like men draw by like little, by little channels into these rivers and the adjacent grounds as they please. So again, we go through this time expressing God's love, yes, but we are spend time expressing just our own philosophical differences, our own time frame. God wants us to stop speaking of the philosophical expounds and differences and just focus on His living Word of God. Focus on His time frame. Focus on His desires. <clears throat> we are believing that it is the King, it is God's heart that puts that King's heart inside of us. It is God's love that brings us to the realities that we're all facing in today's world. We come into this time frame, brothers and sisters, today's world. Today's world wanting God's is bringing about much prophecy as we're speaking. So all of us must be ready. All of us must be changed to the renewing of the minds, to that new heart. Verse 2, every man, every way a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the hearts. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord pondereth the hearts. He does read the intentions of everyone's heart, everyone, everyone's, everyone's heart. He goes into expressing God's love and His truth right now. But with, with this, brothers and sisters, we are partial in judging ourselves and our actions. We go into the realities that we express that being unknown to love, we seem to be afraid of God's love. But we're so used to being part of the yoke of bondage of sin that we want to stay in that mainstream and just get swallowed up by by the depth of its, our own sin, by, by the depth of, of the channels of sin that directed us away from God's wisdom, but into the total destruction of the counsel of the wicked. Counsel of the wicked may show you great intentions of being very nice and polite and showing you a fabulous lifestyle. But God can give you that fabulous lifestyle, but God has a plan, He has provisions for you. I've seen people go from being homeless one night to be millionaires the next, next day. That is the absolute truth, and it can happen to you. Now, if it doesn't happen to you, don't get disappointed. Don't get disappointed at all. Again, to, in verse 3, God sings to us in Proverbs 21, To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Many deceive themselves with a conceit that outward devotions will execute unrighteousness. Okay, are you with me, brethren? So many deceive themselves with a conceit that outward devotions will excuse unrighteousness. So we can have all the outward devotions. We can have all the great pictures of promises coming upon us. But again, I can have a very clean house on the outside. But if it's very polluted on the inside, what good is it? What good is it? God is bringing you to his river of wisdom. He wants to baptize you by the unity of the Holy Spirit, one mind, one judgment, one love, hope, faith, and love. Getting into the living word of God and getting to know God, God and getting to have God send his own people to you so you have those choices and they will be your choices <coughs> to, to learn the living word of God. It is a beautiful time, brothers and sisters, and many ministers, including my wife and I, say this is an exciting time of the history of the world to be a minister, to be a journalist, to be in law enforcement. Yet, we cannot sit on the sidelines and just watch. We have to go out and perform and give and heal through the living word of God. Again, if we are healers, God is asking us to heal someone 
It is not us that has the healing power. It is God, God giving us that instrument, that vehicle. God, we don't have the power to heal him, but God does. Verse 4 in Proverbs 21, A high look and a proud heart, and the plowing of the wicked is sin. Sin is the pride, the ambition, the glory, the joy, and the business of the wicked men. So we, there's, I, I get a kick out of those that just, did you see that performance I did? Did you see this grandiose you know, soliloquy of Lord's Hamlet I did behind the pulpit last Sunday? Ten years later, they're still speaking of that one sermon they did one year ago. And the plowing, even their civil or natural actions, which in themselves are lawful, are made sinful as they are managed by ungodly men, without any regard to the glory of God, which ought to be the end of all of our actions. We cannot have our own glory. Yes, we can have the confidence in ourselves, glory to be blessed by God. We can have all the talent that we were trained by, but let it be blessed by God. We can have a leading a company like Verizon Wireless, 60, 80,000 employees now, and 100 million customers, but let it be blessed by God. You will have, you may be a dishwasher in a, in a Chinese restaurant, and God is just molding you on his experience of a potter's wheel. Whether you're 14 years old or 53 years old, God's going to bring that change for you. But he's going to lay that vision out before you. He's going to lay that task out before you. Grab it, take it, love it, and go with it. Don't ever be afraid to step out in faith. God knows you're going to make some, some mistakes, but he's going to be there for you. Why? Because he loves you. Because he loves you. And he's bringing this time frame to you right now. Verse 5 of what we're ex expressing from the king's heart to you. All the glory, the joy, is all about God. There's joy in this morning to you, this joy in this afternoon, wherever we are. In verse 5, God sings out to us, The thoughts of the diligent tend to only to plenteous, but of every one that is hasty only to want. The really diligent employ foresight as, as well as labor. And <clears throat> hastily, who manages his, his affairs rashly? We manage our affairs, everything, everything, everything in Christ Jesus. We manage everything in the way we bring our loving truth to this time frame. God is making this time frame for you now. God is bringing his business to you now. His love for eternity. Lord, take us, love us for yours. We come to you, O oh Lord, with this powerful change to you. This powerful change to you right now. In verse 6, wisdom cries out to you every day, every moment of this time frame, brothers and sisters, every moment. The getting of treasures by lying tongue is vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. While men seek wealth by unlawful practices, they seek death. They, they are, will go out just for zero intentions or no rhyme or reason of just just taking you down for, uh, by just having you fooled upon, lied upon, and destroyed upon. That is the way Satan works. Lying tongue by any false deceitful words of, or actions is tossed is like the chaff or smoke driven away by the winds of, of them. Take those courses which will bring destruction upon them. And with the time frame that we speak, the destruction, moving away from, from everything that God wants you to have, from destruction to God's love, from destruction to God's eternity, from your self-employed task of trying to bring suicide into your own life, we come to this right now, right now, in Jesus' name, right now. 
many years ago in the upper Great, Great Lakes region of New York State and right across, right near the Canadian border. I chose the way of the absolute truth. That, that is, I took that step forward into the arms of Christ. And some 3,500 miles away, Anita did the same thing. That step forward, many, many, many decades later, through much experiences, would be our introduction of, to each other and our introduction into marriage and un unity of bringing this ministry to God's world, God's footstool, lifting everybody, giving everyone the powerful choices of God's loving truth. This is your time right now to turn yourself over to the Lord. This is your time from right now to come into God's love. For whosoever, Romans 10, 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Brothers and sisters, take this, love this, grow with it, flow with it. For it's time to be that whosoever with God's love. It's time to be that whosoever in the master's name of Jesus. Dear God, come unto me. Dear God, have all repeat this after me. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Savior and Lord. And I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life, fill me and take control and to help me become the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. That's my wife singing your name in the background. I am praising your name. Most important, the angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of God. Right now, brothers and sisters, right now. And it also starts with new relationships. God brings you to that mountaintop. God brings you to his anointing. God brings you to that powerful truth that he's going to give to you right now. And that is his living word of God. That is his time frame right now. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, let's take this upon the actions of God's love. Let's take this upon the ask, a, actions of God's inheritance. Here at MC Ministries, Morning Star Communications Network, Anita, and yours truly, Brian Hewitt, we invite you to become part of our ministry. We invite you to be part of our evangelical team. We invite you to become our, of our medical team, our translation team. This gives to you, brothers and sisters, the inheritance of God's love by going to countries like Kenya, preaching in the slums of Nairobi, be part of the medical teams, Cape Town, South Africa, Tanzania, London, England, we're going to, um, Cape, uh, Canada, Nigeria, we're praying to Pakistan. We got missions teams already there. We're lifting up the glory of God's love to you and the furtherance of his truth and the furtherance of his time right now. For in the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we love thee so. We invite you also to become a financial partner into our ministries at BrianTewitt.com. BrianTewitt.com. Click on the donation link, link, click on our contact link. If you don't wish to send us a a offering over the over our website do send it to over the um, regular mail at MCM Ministries you can make out your check to our Morningstar Communications Network and we are a 501c3 certified church here in the United States so we thank you for your loving support we thank you for your um, your prayers and support ahead of time and dear Jesus we thank you for the living word of God for of this day in Jesus name Amen with this expressions of God's love gives us the inheritance of his truth gives us that inheritance of his time frame right now brothers and sisters right now God gives you this cup and it represents a cup of wisdom God does not want anything robbed of you or destroyed for you you have not because you ask not so if you feel your cup of wisdom is coming to an end being empty ask God to refill it he will Verse 7 of Proverbs 21, The robbery of the wicked shall destroy them, because they refuse to do judgment. <clears throat> the way
way of mankind by nature is forward and strange. But then, God's people, we are peculiar people. And why is that? We speak the truth. Why is that? God gave us a language of his truth, which represents God's love. God's love does not need any translation, but God's love does change everybody through the power of his love. So as Christ died for you and I on the cross, it looked upon the cross and looked into all of our hearts. We were changed if we looked deeper and deeper into the eyes of Christ upon that cross. The offering that we asked, just asked for you will come back to you on a return of investment depending upon you. How deep you want to have your, your obedience lifted up before the Lord. How you want, wish to die daily upon, upon the cross of Christ and carrying your cross daily. For in the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. In verse 8 of Proverbs 21, The way of a man is forward and strange, but as for the pure, his work is right. As for the pure, his work is right. Into this time, into this expression, God brings us to that time frame right now, the crossroads. The way of everyone, every man by nature strange, is strange from God, called right, but he whose heart is pure, his conversation is agreeable to it. So if our hearts and our minds are united in singing the same song as our intentions are expressing, then we will have all the unison of the Holy Spirit work, living through us and guiding us without any, any problem at all. If we stay where we are and don't have don't represent change at all, then we're setting ourselves up to be destroyed. If we have the all powerful, mighty, mighty ways of God, or just have the powerful, mighty ways of man trying to control us, the whole world's gonna pass right by us. If we have God's love, God's gonna bring us out deeper into the battlefield, fighting the fight of good faith and bringing all all having all of us go before the world and represent change and the love of God. Verse 9 It is better to dwell in a corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a white house. The evil desires of it is best to shun bitter contention by pouring out the heart before God. For by prudence and patience with constant prayer the cross may be removed. The time frame, brothers and sisters, gives to you his love, his understanding, his time frame, his expression. Right now, Proverbs 21, verse 10. The soul of the wicked de desires evil, his neighbor findeth no favor in his eye. The soul of the wicked desireth evil, his neighbor findeth no favor in his eyes. The evil desires of a wicked man's heart lead to baseness in his conduct, leads to just the baseness of being left out there without any head of protection from you, from God, just out there but thinking sin's going to protect you because this man named Satan is a nice guy. Let you have all three of his daughters plus his wife. Hey, why not? And we can express this to you. But it's up to you to make these choices. Pro choice is not pre predestined. But that is a kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever is. Matthew 6, 13. Matthew 7, 7. Ask, seek, and knock. Mark 11, 22. Have faith in God. Going through 23 through 26. The breakdown is, if you believe in your heart what you would say to God, then you shall receive it. But you must be. turned. You must have your life turned over to God. You must have that beautiful truth coming into you and you must have the desire to, to make the, bring that change upon you because the breakdown of the furtherance of verse 10 to do, to do mischief no favor he spirits neither friend nor foe Satan has no intentions of you being alive he wants to still kill and destroy Jesus Christ has come into your life to give you the fulfillment of his everlasting love to give you the fulfillment of his everlasting need right now for you. 
for the master's name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, let's send us out. Let's bring this deeper into his glory right now. Right now, brothers and sisters, right now, Christ wants this change to you. Christ is bringing this to you right now. It is your time frame. It is your love. It is your guidance that brings us to this mountaintop. It is your expression of God's faithfulness to you. The choice is yours. We go into God's kingdom. We go into his time frame. Bringing God, God's love. From the Proverbs to his wisdom to the embrace of the truth. Giving us that expression of change. Giving it a, that expression of a new day is here, here in North America. It's going on 6.30 a.m. as we come to a close of this service. Bring change to your life. Bring change to the renewing of your mind. Bring change to the inheritance that God has always wanted you to have right now. Kingdom bound. Kingdom bound is all yours. Lord, take us. Lord, love us. We're yours. I lay myself on the altar of, of, for you, O oh Lord. Take my life. Bring unto it the truth of your love right now. For in the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, so be it. Brothers and sisters, again, Anita and the man, we invite you to become part of our ministries by visiting us at BrianTewitt.com. BrianTewitt.com. We thank you for your prayers and support ahead of time. Again, we're inviting you to become a financial partner into our ministries as we go forth into the living word of God and to bring that change into that time frame right now. Right now, right now, bring that change to you in the matchless name of Jesus, giving you that time, giving you that, that offering, lifting up your obedience as, as you lift, as you, as you sow seed into this ministry, the windows of heaven will, will open up and the Blessings will pour down, and you'll have no room in your storehouses for them. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this time. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your love. Brethren, we thank you for joining us today. Let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your time, your endless stream of your love that brings us to your road of grace, that brings us to your straight and narrow. For many are called, if you are chosen. We thank you for this time frame of your love that gives us the inheritance of your truth, and truth has set us all free. Jesus! We love thee. Jesus, we need you. Jesus, come into all of us right now. For in the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Jesus' name, we love thee. Brothers and sisters, that concludes our broadcast for this morning. On behalf of Anita and the man, we thank you for your time. Until next time. To stay up to date with all of our news and information about our crusades and exciting events at BrianTewitt.com, at BrianTewitt.com. And again, we walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, adios, good day.